Welcome to another game. So this one here uh, is another Wii Mix title by Wii Mix, We Made Cope. Um, they also, if you watch my other videos, we've gone over the blockchain with Wii Mix and how that functions. This is one of the ones that has its own token on that blockchain. Uh, this one is unique. It's a World Fishing Championship. Something I've been excited to try uh, is these fishing games. Kind of reminds me of the nostalgia from back in the day and Dreamcast and uh, playing the fishing games from that era. And uh, yeah, it has the same vibes here. It's super fun. I've been enjoying it for the last few days. Uh, so yeah, we're going to jump in here. I'm going to show you uh, some gameplay and then I'm going to go over kind of their play to earn mechanic. And then kind of a different utilization there where it's not so uh, ad kind of advent on, you know, you extracting or you even participating in the cryptocurrency. Everything actually in this one can stay completely in the game, uh, which is kind of pretty nice for uh, for those of you that are kind of on the fence about Web3. So anyways, let's hop in here. Uh, I've already done my like daily claims of things, so it won't pull those up. Uh, but basically, as you go in here, you uh, you know, it'll prompt you to pick your dailies, the lucky box, that kind of stuff, you know, um, typical with these games. So before we jump into the gaming part, we're going to show you the pearl staking real quick. Uh, this one here is where you stake pearl, which is a token you earn in-game in order to earn coral. Coral is the crypto token that can be extracted and utilized for other things. There's also an in-game shop for pearl. Uh, you can actually, or coral, excuse me, you can actually go in and purchase things with coral to boost your character. Uh, or you can use coral to exchange it for black pearls. And there's a premium kind of wheel spin thing there. So you don't have to participate outside of the game if you do not wish to. Uh, anyways, moving from there, we're going to go ahead and hop into Florida here. And sh it's kind of in a linear progression, of course. You start off with one, you work your way up, and then you continually progress to other parts of the world and catching those fish there. Uh, once you catch a fish, you can actually... I don't know why it's not letting me... Uh, go back to the floor. There you go. <laughs> Once you catch a fish, you can add it to a section down here for your aquarium. Your aquarium keeps all your fish uh, that you've caught up to a certain amount. You can upgrade, I think, the aquarium and kind of going from there. Uh, there's also an aqua points thing that's kind of a uh, leaderboard where you compete and you can earn some rewards for having some really cool fish. Cool thing here is it even has the 3D capability. So if you want to, you know, look around and be inside your aquarium or you know, if you have the 3D glasses, that kind of thing, you can also do that, uh, which is pretty badass, to be honest with you. Uh, but anyways, that's just one aspect of the game and catching the fish and that kind of thing. So we'll hop over here and we'll go to uh, Virginia Keys, one of the places, my favorite places to fish in here, as it earns you some pearl token after you catch so many fish. So... You can see over here on your left, you have your uh, anglers that you kind of set up a team. The top three are going to use your, be your main anglers, and they're going to have the abilities that you can use to help you catch fish. You have your temporary boosts that you can use to help in different ways, and then you can actually level up and unlock other anglers as you progress. You can level up and unlock new boats, um, new gear, all of those things. Fire up. Starts off with this uh, little mini game here where you pick basically where you're going to fish and you want to try to get as close to that red circle as possible and that will give you the best bonus. So I'm going to give it a shot. Perfect. Perfect. We landed dead center and you can see the bonuses that it gives us there. This is the part that reminds me so much of the Dreamcast game. You know, you can start reeling in. Let's say we don't want that fish, we just let him go. Line it in. That's a very fish. Let me get that one. The battle begins. I've got the auto spin on me with the auto reel. So, of course, it's auto reeling for me. Auto going to activate those abilities. And uh, we're going to activate this one and basically take this fish out. And there we have it. Rare yeah. fish. So beautiful rare fish. We're going to go ahead and uh, sell this one because I've got plenty of them. Otherwise, we would put it in the tank. And it's going to tell you, of course, if you sell it, you don't get the angler chest, but that's fine. They're running an event right now. We want to get some extra gold. So we're going to go ahead and sell it. And uh, yeah, progress towards the big fish reward for the pearls. And then you hit OK. And you go back in, uh, take some of your gas away there at the top. And then uh, you can kind of keep playing as far as that goes. 
Uh, one thing that's really cool is if you look at the, uh, if we go back here, at the gas, you can actually get more gas by purchasing it. You can exchange over, like I was showing you earlier, or you can go to this section and actually stake the pearls you have and you will recover more. So if you earn pearls, it's gonna allow you to play longer and more times in fishing and kind of going in this cyclical loop there to uh, to earn more. So pretty awesome, I enjoy it. Been uh, playing it, like I said, for a few days and you know, and collecting some fish, leveling up my anglers and my boat, and I love the nostalgic feel uh, of the game. I look forward to you guys giving it a shot. Hopefully uh, you have a fun time playing it. It's one of the only fishing games I've found in Web3 currently. Uh, there's some more on the horizon. I'll be showing you guys those soon. Uh, but as for that, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next game.